Hey guys, it is Jacob here. In this video I'd like to present you my 1000 FE budget. I will go only uh, through the upgrade that I made. Uh, you should be able to get it uh, for under 1000 one FE's, but if you want a like, cheaper build or the previous version of this build for 500 FE, just check the previous video. I will go through the upgrade now. I will not go through everything. I will not go through skills, through gear, because those things stood the same. I can just hover over them real quick. But if you want to have every single piece explained, I've explained them in the previous video. So definitely check that. I've explained mechanics, how those skills interact with each other, why I choose the supports that I choose. And also alternatives, like instead of bloody steps, if you need more damage, you can choose mana ball or aim for even more. But yeah, just go through them real fast. Passive tree, also the same as in the previous video. Why I choose passives that I choose explained in the previous video, so definitely check that out. Just going through this real quick for everyone to see and now for the upgrades that I made in this video uh, or in this version of the build in the 1000 F version of the build which should which is able to clear time mark 8.1 maps really fast I've changed the statue of the gods and what I was trying to achieve is get dirty tricks into the build and working and max maximize its effect Dirty Tricks is the talent in Warlock, this one. Guaranteed to inflict all types of elements on hit. Upon inflicting damage, plus 6% additional damage for every type of element the enemy has, which multiplies on top of each other. So with the amount of uh, uh, elements that I do, it provides me with around 50 or up to 60% more damage basically. With other changes as well <clears throat> so yeah that's what i'm getting on this slate so that's dirty tricks with dirty tricks you need to keep in mind that not all elements can be inflicted if you don't have uh, the base damage in them how to get base damage into elements one uh like the most optimal way would be getting an amulet with base element damage let me see if i can find one but bases with that mod costs a fortune so adds base element damage search goes for 2.5k for only the base so you would have to craft everything on it so as you can see that's not affordable for under 1000 fe uh, budget and the original build already cost 500 so the upgrade i'm showing you here should be under 500 and it is so that's what i will show you yeah dreamcraft you can also dreamcraft but still you still have to craft the amulet and for that you would want to have uh, like uh, tier 1 amulet pretty much and that's not possible to make for under 500 fe so that's what you want that's what i will focus on with what i will show you here so dirty tricks kills from elements how i'm getting the elements as you can see on this, this uh, pedigree I managed to get one with base trauma damage, so that allows me to inflict trauma. But that was not cheap and there are probably no other. Yeah, that cost me 500 but the only thing that you want on the pedigree is pretty much the dirty tricks and those go for around 200. And then the base damage for elements you can get from the other slates basically so here i'm getting wild 
which would go for around 20. Try to get it with something useful like critical strike rating for example. So yeah, around 30. Then ignite damage. Again, around 20. Try to get something useful on that, on that as well. 30 here. And for the trauma you would just slot, you can have 3 of these. Divinity Slate effect damage 3, so you can have 3, so for the trauma you would just buy third one with trauma damage, which would be again for around 30 FE. And then for now for the corners, so as, as you can see there is room for that, if you set it up like this. For the corners, I've sticked with the additional beam length and immediately start energy shield charge upon entering the low energy shield stat status but I'm pairing that with upon inflicting damage plus 20% damage for every type of element the enemy has. We are inflicting all the ailments like trauma, ignite, frostbite, freeze, numbed and wilt. We are infl inflicting all of those even though keep in mind you cannot freeze monster and, and frostbite them at the same time so yeah though these two just swap with each other. When the enemy is frozen, it is not frostbitten. When it is frostbitten, it is not frozen yet. So you have one, two, three, four, five elements times 0.6 damage basically. And then on top of it, we are getting plus 20% for each element. And I have it on both of these, so that's 40. And I also have it here in Warlock, I showed in the previous video. So I have it I have it three times for now. You can get it multiple times. When you are buying these, try to get this mod, the upon inflicting damage, 20% damage for every type of element. Try to get it on the last stat on whatever slate you are getting it. Because at the final version of the build we will be scaling it even further, but that's thousands of FEs in the future, so I won't talk about it anymore. But yeah, try to get those on the last slot, preferably. And then for the last slate, it stayed the same. I'm I'm having this on just for the plus one spell skill level because what that allows me to do is it actually lets me get my ice beam, ice bound beam to level 30, which is the last level where this effectiveness of added damage scales. It is 176% for the beam, but it is around 540% for the projectiles. So that's why Icebound Beam is so like strong, even though the numbers uh, are not that high. It's only 5 million here. And the 5 million here is counted from this 176% and the 540 is hidden behind the projectiles so that are not propagate that, that do not propagate into this number sadly but yeah so that's the 500 fe upgrade let's go through the prices so 30 tricks 200 every one of the elements will cost free uh, 30 so that's 90 so that's like 350 let's say and these go for around 30 as well so 20 here and 30 here so that's another 50 so yeah upgrade under 500 fe gives me 50 percent more damage pretty much so the damage goes to around 3 bill in the farming setup and if you would swap the skills around, like we can go for maximum damage setup, I can show it in this video actually, because that's the last version of the build that I will use for a while. So I'm even swapping the... Um, when you are going for bosses, you don't need explode, right? So I'm swapping that for these to get more critical strike chance from this flame spirit. I don't have it leveled because I'm using it only on bosses. Gives you 118 critical strike rating. And that would be your maximum damage setup pretty much. For everything to pop out. Forgot to stop this. Don't want to consume charges. 
that often. Please select the calibration so, intensity for invincibility number two. Once the aim pops, that's with my uh, drop pads, and if I swap to my damage pads, depending on what pads you have, as you can see, the damage goes better than Bill. So, yeah, that's the 500 FE upgrade, which will let you clear 8.1 maps just for the showcase and to show you people that it actually clears the maps. I will go through a map because why not? Um, increase area and let's go through a map real quick. So it is comfortable clearing 8.1 maps, but you could even try going higher. It definitely has no issues with killing 8.2 like watchers. So yeah, you can just two phase watchers pretty much. And mer cube. Okay. Conflicts carry the weight of both honor and shame. You can see the rust the frigid transmission gets reset with every, with every freeze, so that's what lets me use it so often. Because whenever you freeze something and you are freezing something all the time, you can immediately blink to the next pack and just keep clearing. That, that is 8.1 clear. Build is coming together. I'm still learning new mechanics. Like for example, as you can see in this video, I'm using the uh, Ring Blade Noble support. If you don't have enough currency for that, just use this one. The damage will be lower, but not that much lower. Still able to kill bosses like that so yeah does not really matter which one of those two you use just use either because either of those allows you to swap uh, refracted prison for control spell which provides you a lot of additional damage compared to the prism which prism was in the original version of the build to provide you with some clear at least but yeah as you can see no issues clearing anything that's it that's it for now thanks everyone for watching i will keep progressing this build i will try to provide you with 8.2 like deep space profound deep space at the last yeah i will try to push this build as far as possible for me yeah, thanks everyone for watching. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for next upgrades, and I hope I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!